A star catalog Commonwealth English or star catalog American English is an astronomical catalog that lists stars. In astronomy, many stars are referred to simply by catalog numbers. There are a great many different star catalogs which have been produced for different purposes over the years, and this article covers only some of the more frequently quoted ones. Star catalogs were compiled by many different ancient people, including the Babylonians, Greeks, Chinese, Persians, and Arabs. They were sometimes accompanied by a star chart for illustration. Most modern catalogs are available in electronic format and can be freely downloaded from Space Agency's data center. Completeness and accuracy is described by the weakest apparent magnitude v largest number and the accuracy of the positions. <laughs> Historical catalogs <laughs> Ancient Near East From their existing records, it is known that the ancient Egyptians recorded the names of only a few identifiable constellations and a list of 36 decans that were used as a star clock. The Egyptians called the circumpolar star the star that cannot perish and, although they made no known formal star catalogues, they nonetheless created extensive star charts of the night sky which adorn the coffins and ceilings of tomb chambers. Although the ancient Sumerians were the first to record the names of constellations on clay tablets, the earliest known star catalogues were compiled by the ancient Babylonians of Mesopotamia in the late 2nd millennium BC, during the Kassite period ca. 1531 BC to ca. 1155 BC. They are better known by their Assyrian era name three stars each. These star catalogues, written on clay tablets, listed 36 stars, 12 for Anu along the celestial equator, 12 for Ea south of that, and 12 for Enlil to the north. The Mull, Apen lists, dated to some time before the Neo-Babylonian Empire 626-539 BC, are direct textual descendants of the three stars each lists and their constellation patterns show similarities to those of later Greek civilization. <laughs> Hellenistic world and Roman Empire In ancient Greece, the astronomer and mathematician Eudoxus laid down a full set of the classical constellations around 370 BC. His catalogue Phenomena, rewritten by Aratus of Soli between 275 and 250 BC as a didactic poem, became one of the most consulted astronomical texts in antiquity and beyond. It contains descriptions of the positions of the stars, the shapes of the constellations and provided information on their relative times of rising and setting. Approximately in the 3rd century BC, the Greek astronomers Timocharis of Alexandria and Aristilus created another star catalog. Hipparchus c. 190 c. 120 BC completed his star catalog in 129 BC, which he compared to Timocharis and discovered that the longitude of the stars had changed over time. This led him to determine the first value of the precession of the equinoxes. In the 2nd century, Ptolemy c. 90 c. 186 AD of Roman Egypt published a star catalog as part of his Almagest, which listed 1,022 stars visible from Alexandria. Ptolemy catalog was based almost entirely on an earlier one by Hipparchus. It remained the standard star catalog in the Western and Arab worlds for over eight centuries. The Islamic astronomer al-Sufi updated it in 964, and the star positions were redetermined by Ula Beg in 1437, but it was not fully superseded until the appearance of the Thousand Star Catalogue of Tycho Brahe in 1598. Although the ancient Vedas of India specified how the ecliptic was to be divided into 28 nakshatra, Indian constellation patterns were ultimately borrowed from Greek ones sometime after Alexander's conquests in Asia in the 4th century BC. Topic. Ancient China The earliest known inscriptions for Chinese star names were written on oracle bones and date to the Shang dynasty c. 1600 c. 1050 BC. Sources dating from the Zhou dynasty c. 1050 to 256 BC which provide star names include the Zuo Zuan, the Shi Jing, and the Canon of Yao, Yao Dian in the Book of Documents. The Lushi Chunchu written by the Qin statesman Lu Buwei d. 235 BC provides most of the names for the 28 mansions i.e. asterisms across the ecliptic belt of the celestial sphere used for constructing the calendar. 
An earlier lacquerware chest found in the tomb of Marquis Yi of Zung interred in 433 BC contains a complete list of the names of the 28 mansions. Star catalogues are traditionally attributed to Shi Shen and Ganda, two rather obscure Chinese astronomers who may have been active in the 4th century BC of the Warring States period 403 BC. The Shi Shen astronomy, Shi Shen Tian Wen, Shi Shen Tian Wen, is attributed to Shi Shen, and the astronomic star observation, Tian Wen Xingzan, Tian Wen Xingzan, to Ganda. It was not until the Han Dynasty, 202 BC to 220 AD, that astronomers started to observe and record names for all the stars that were apparent to the naked eye in the night sky, not just those around the ecliptic. A star catalog is featured in one of the chapters of the late 2nd century BC history work records of the Grand Historian by Sima Qian 145 BC and contains the «schools» of Shi Shen and Gan Da's work i.e. the different constellations they allegedly focused on for astrological purposes. Sima's catalog — the Book of Celestial Offices Tian Guan Shu Tian Gan Shu Includes some 90 constellations, the stars therein named after temples, ideas in philosophy, locations such as markets and shops, and different people such as farmers and soldiers. For his spiritual constitution of the universe, Ling Xian Ling Xian of 120 AD, the astronomer Zhang Heng AD compiled a star catalogue comprising 124 constellations. Chinese constellation names were later adopted by the Koreans and Japanese. Islamic world A large number of star catalogues were published by Muslim astronomers in the medieval Islamic world. These were mainly Zij treatises, including Arzachal's Tables of Toledo 1087, the Mariga Observatory's Zij i Ilkhani 1272, and Ula Beg's Zij i Sultani 1437. Other famous Arabic star catalogues include Alfraganas A Compendium of the Science of Stars 850, which corrected Ptolemy Almagest, and Azofi's Book of Fixed Stars 964, which described observations of the stars, their positions, magnitudes, brightness and color, drawings for each constellation, and the first descriptions of Andromeda Galaxy and the Large Magellanic Cloud. Many stars are still known by their Arabic names see List of Arabic star names. Pre-Columbian Americas The Modal Dictionary, compiled in the 16th century by an anonymous author although attributed to Fray Antonio de Ciudad Real, contains a list of stars originally observed by the ancient Mayas. The Maya Paris Codex also contains symbols for different constellations which were represented by mythological beings. Bear and Flamsteed catalogues Two systems introduced in historical catalogues remain in use to the present day. The first system comes from the German astronomer Johann Bayer's Uranometria, published in 1603 and regarding bright stars. These are given a Greek letter followed by the genitive case of the constellation in which they are located, examples are Alpha Centauri or Gamma Cygna. The major problem with Bayer's naming system was the number of letters in the Greek alphabet 24. It was easy to run out of letters before running out of stars needing names, particularly for large constellations such as Argo Navis. Bear extended his lists up to 67 stars by using lowercase Roman letters A through Z, then uppercase ones A through Q. Few of those designations have survived. It is worth mentioning, however, as it served as the starting point for variable star designations, which start with R through Z, then RR, RS, RT, RZ, SS, Street, ZZ, and beyond. The second system comes from the English astronomer John Flamsteed's Historia Coelestis Britannica 1725. It kept the genitive of the constellation rule for the back end of his catalogue names, but used numbers instead of the Greek alphabet for the front half. Examples include 61 Cygna and 47 Ursae Majoris. <laughs> Full sky catalogues in chronological order 
Bayer and Flamsteed covered only a few thousand stars between them. In theory, full sky catalogues try to list every star in the sky. There are, however, billions of stars resolvable by telescopes, so this is an impossible goal. With this kind of catalogue, an attempt is generally made to get every star brighter than a given magnitude. Lal Jérôme Lalande published the Histoire Celeste Française in 1801, which contained an extensive star catalogue, among other things. The observations made were made from the Paris Observatory and so it describes mostly northern stars. This catalogue contained the positions and magnitudes of 47,390 stars, out to magnitude 9, and was the most complete catalogue up to that time. A significant reworking of this catalogue in 1846 added reference numbers to the stars that are used to refer to some of these stars to this day. The decent accuracy of this catalogue kept it in common use as a reference by observatories around the world throughout the 19th century. BD, CD, CPD The Bonner Durchmesserung German, Don Sampling and follow-ups were the most complete of the pre-photographic star catalogues. The Bonner Durchmesserung itself was published by Friedrich Wilhelm Argelander, Adelbert Kruger, and Eduard Schoenfeld between 1852 and 1859. It covered 320,000 stars in Epoch 1855.0. As it covered only the northern sky and some of the south being compiled from the Bonn Observatory, this was then supplemented by the Sudlich Durchmesserung SD, which covers stars between declinations minus 1 and minus 23 degrees. 1886, 120,000 stars. It was further supplemented by the Cordoba Durchmesserung 580,000 stars, which began to be compiled at Cordoba, Argentina in 1892 under the initiative of John M. Tomey and covers declinations minus 22 to minus 90. Lastly, the Cape Photographic Durchmesserung 450,000 stars, 1896, compiled at the Cape, South Africa, covers declinations minus 18 to minus 90. Astronomers preferentially use the HD designation see next entry of a star, as that catalogue also gives spectroscopic information, but as the Durchmusterungs cover more stars they occasionally fall back on the older designations when dealing with one not found in Draper. Unfortunately, a lot of catalogues cross-reference the Durchmusterungs without specifying which one is used in the zones of overlap, so some confusion often remains. Star names from these catalogues include the initials of which of the four catalogues they are from though the Southern follows the example of the Bonner and uses BD, CPD is often shortened to CP, followed by the angle of declination of the star rounded towards zero, and thus ranging from plus 00 to plus 89 and minus 00 to minus 89, followed by an arbitrary number as there are always thousands of stars at each angle. Examples include BD plus 50 degrees 1725 or CD minus 45 degrees 13677. Topic HD HDE. The Henry Draper catalog was published in the period 1918 to 1924. It covers the whole sky down to about 9th or 10th magnitude, and is notable as the first large-scale attempt to catalogue spectral types of stars. The catalogue was compiled by Annie Jump Cannon and her co-workers at Harvard College Observatory under the supervision of Edward Charles Pickering, and was named in honour of Henry Draper, whose widow donated the money required to finance it. HD numbers are widely used today for stars which have no Bayer or Flamsteed designation. Stars numbered 1-225,300 are from the original catalogue and are numbered in order of right ascension for the 1900.0 epoch. Stars in the range 225301-359083 are from the 1949 extension of the catalogue. The notation HDE can be used for stars in this extension, but they are usually denoted HD as the numbering ensures that there can be no ambiguity. AC The catalogue Astrographique Astrographic catalog was part of the International Carte du Ciel program designed to photograph and measure the positions of all stars brighter than magnitude 11.0. In total, over 4.6 million stars were observed, many as faint as 13th magnitude. This project was started in the late 19th century. 
The observations were made between 1891 and 1950. To observe the entire celestial sphere without burdening too many institutions, the sky was divided among 20 observatories, by declination zones. Each observatory exposed and measured the plates of its zone, using a standardized telescope a normal astrograph. so each plate photographed had a similar scale of approximately 60 arcsecs per millimeter. The U.S. Naval Observatory took over custody of the catalog, now in its 2000.2 edition. Topic. BS, BSC, HR First published in 1930 as the Yale Catalogue of Bright Stars, this catalogue contained information on all stars brighter than visual magnitude 6.5 in the Harvard Revised Photometry Catalogue. The list was revised in 1983 with the publication of a supplement that listed additional stars down to magnitude 7.1. The catalog detailed each star's coordinates, proper motions, photometric data, spectral types, and other useful information. The last printed version of the Bright Star Catalog was the fourth revised edition, released in 1982. The fifth edition is in electronic form and is available online. Sale <laughs> The Smithsonian Astrophysical Observatory Catalog was compiled in 1966 from various previous astrometric catalogs, and contains only the stars to about ninth magnitude for which accurate proper motions were known. There is considerable overlap with the Henry Draper Catalog, but any star lacking motion data is omitted. The epic for the position measurements in the latest edition is J2000.0. The SAO catalog contains this major piece of information not in Draper, the proper motion of the stars, so it is often used when that fact is of importance. The cross-references with the Draper and Dirchmesering catalog numbers in the latest edition are also useful. Names in the SAO catalog start with the letters SAO, followed by a number. The numbers are assigned following 18 10-degree bands in the sky, with stars sorted by right ascension within each band. Topic. USNOB 1.0 USNOB 1.0 is an all-sky catalog created by research and operations astrophysicists at the U.S. Naval Observatory as developed at the United States Naval Observatory Flagstaff Station, that presents positions, proper motions, magnitudes in various optical passbands, and star galaxy estimators for 1,042,618,261 objects derived from 3,643,201,733 separate observations. The data was obtained from scans of 7,435 Schmidt plates taken for the various sky surveys during the last 50 years. USNOB 1.0 is believed to provide all sky coverage, completeness down to V equals 21, 0.2 arcsecond astrometric accuracy at J2000.0, 0.3 magnitude photometric accuracy in up to five colors, and 85% accuracy for distinguishing stars from non-stellar objects. USNOB is now followed by NOMAD, both can be found on the Naval Observatory server. The Naval Observatory is currently working on B2 and C variants of the USNO catalog series. GSC The Guide Star Catalog is an online catalog of stars produced for the purpose of accurately positioning and identifying stars satisfactory for use as guide stars by the Hubble Space Telescope program. The first version of the catalog was produced in the late 1980s by digitizing photographic plates and contained about 20 million stars, out to about magnitude 15. The latest version of this catalog contains information for 945,592,683 stars, out to magnitude 21. The latest version continues to be used to accurately position the Hubble Space Telescope. PPM The PPM Star Catalog is one of the best, both in the proper motion and star position till 1999. Not as precise as the Hipparchos Catalog but with many more stars. The PPM was built from BD, SAO, HD and more, with sophisticated algorithm and is an extension for the fifth fundamental catalog. Catalogs of Fundamental Stars 
Topic: Hip. The Hipparcos catalog was compiled from the data gathered by the European Space Agency's astrometric satellite Hipparcos, which was operational from 1989 to 1993. The catalog was published in June 1997 and contains 118,218 stars. An updated version with reprocessed data was published in 2007. It is particularly notable for its parallax measurements, which are considerably more accurate than those produced by ground based observations. A revised version was published in 2007. Topic. Gaia Catalog The Gaia Catalog is released in stages that will contain increasing amounts of information. The early releases will also miss some stars, especially fainter stars located in dense star fields. Data from every data release can be accessed at the Gaia Archive. Gaia DR1, the first data release of the spacecraft Gaia mission, based on 14 months of observations made through September 2015, took place on September 13, 2016. The data release includes positions and magnitudes in a single photometric band for 1.1 billion stars using only Gaia data, positions, parallaxes and proper motions for more than 2 million stars based on a combination of Gaia and Tycho 2 data for those objects in both catalogs, light curves and characteristics for about 3,000 variable stars, and positions and magnitudes for more than 2,000 extragalactic sources used to define the celestial reference frame. The second data release DR2, which occurred on the 25th of April 2018, is based on 22 months of observations made between the 25th of July 2014 and the 23rd of May 2016. It includes positions, parallaxes and proper motions for about 1.3 billion stars and positions of an additional 300 million stars, red and blue photometric data for about 1.1 billion stars and single color photometry for an additional 400 million stars, and median radial velocities for about 7 million stars between magnitude 4 and 13. It also contains data for over 14,000 selected solar system objects. The full Gaia catalog will be released in 2022. Topic: <laughs> Specialized catalogs. Specialized catalogs make no effort to list all the stars in the sky, working instead to highlight a particular type of star, such as variables or nearby stars. Topic: <laughs> Ads. Aitken's Double Star Catalog lists 17,180 double stars north of declination minus 30 degrees. <laughs> Carbon stars Stevenson's General Catalog of Galactic Carbon Stars is a catalog of 7,000 plus carbon stars. <laughs> GL, GJ, WO The Gliese, later Gliese Jare catalog attempts to list all star systems within 20 parsecs 65 light years of Earth ordered by right ascension see the list of nearest stars. Later editions expanded the coverage to 25 parsecs 82 light years. Numbers in the range 1.0 to 915.0 GL numbers are from the second edition, which was Catalog of Nearby Stars 1969, W. Gliese, the integers up to 915 represent systems which were in the first edition. Numbers with a decimal point were used to insert new star systems for the second edition without destroying the desired order by right ascension. This catalog is referred to as CNS2, although this name is never used in catalog numbers. Numbers in the range 9001-9850-WO numbers are from the supplement Extension of the Gliese Catalog 1970, R. Woolley, E. A. Epps, M. J. Penston and S. B. Pocock, numbers in the ranges 1000-1294 and 2001-2159 G. J. Numbers are from the supplement Nearby Star Data Published 1969-1978 W. Gliese and H. Jare, the range 1000-1294 represents nearby stars, while 2001-2159 represents suspected nearby stars. In the literature, the GJ numbers are sometimes retroactively extended to the GL numbers since there is no overlap. 
For example, GLEES 436 can be interchangeably referred to as either GL 436 or GJ 436. Numbers in the range 3001-4388 are from Preliminary version of the third catalogue of nearby stars 1991, W. Glees and H. Jare, although this version of the catalogue was termed preliminary. It is still the current one as of March 2006, and is referred to as CNS3. It lists a total of 3,803 stars. Most of these stars already had GJ numbers, but there were also 1,388 which were not numbered. The need to give these 1,388 some name has resulted in them being numbered 3001-4388 NN numbers for no name, and data files of this catalog now usually include these numbers. An example of a star which is often referred to by one of these unofficial GJ numbers is GJ3021. <laughs> GCTP The General Catalogue of Trigonometric Parallaxes, first published in 1952 and later superseded by the new GCTP now in its fourth edition, covers nearly 9,000 stars. Unlike the Gliese, it does not cut off at a given distance from the Sun, rather it attempts to catalogue all known measured parallaxes. It gives the coordinates in 1900 epoch, the secular variation, the proper motion, the weighted average absolute parallax and its standard error, the number of parallax observations, quality of interagreement of the different values, the visual magnitude and various cross-identifications with other catalogues. Auxiliary information, including UBV photometry, MK spectral types, data on the variability and binary nature of the stars, orbits when available, and miscellaneous information to aid in determining the reliability of the data are also listed. 1952 edition and 1962 supplement. Louise F. Jenkins, Yale University Observatory. William F. Van Altina, John Truen Liang Li and Ellen Dorit Hofflet, Yale University Observatory, 1995 <laughs> Proper motion catalogues A common way of detecting nearby stars is to look for relatively high proper motions. Several catalogues exist, of which we'll mention a few. The Ross and Wolf catalogues pioneered the domain. Ross, Frank Elmore, New Proper Motion Stars, Eight Successive Lists, The Astronomical Journal, Vol. 36-48, 1925-1939 Wolf, Max. Catalog von 1053 Starker Bewegten Fixternen. Veroff, D. Badischen Sternwort zu Heidelberg Konigstuhl, B.D., 7, No. 10, 1919, and numerous lists in Astronomische Nachrichten, 209-236, 1919-1929 Willem Jacob Leighton later produced a series of catalogues L. Leighton, Proper Motion Stars and White Dwarfs Leighton, W.J., Proper Motion Survey with the 48-inch Schmidt Telescope, University of Minnesota, 1941 General Catalogue of the Bruce Proper Motion Survey LFT, Leighton 5 tenths Catalogue Leighton, W.J., A Catalogue of 1849 Stars with Proper Motion Exceeding 0.5 Annually, Lund Press, Minneapolis, Minnesota, 1955 1 LHS, Leighton Half Second Catalogue Leighton, W. J., Catalogue of Stars with Proper Motions Exceeding 0 5 Annually, University of Minnesota, 1979 2 LTT, Leighton 2 Tenths Catalogue Leighton, W. J. Leighton's 2 Tenths. A catalogue of 9,867 stars in the Southern Hemisphere with proper motions exceeding 0. 0.2 annually, Minneapolis, 1957, a catalogue of 7,127 stars in the Northern Hemisphere with proper motions exceeding 0 inches. 0.2 annually backquote backquote, Minneapolis, 1961, also supplements 1961-1962, 3-4-5-6-NLTT, New Leighton 2 tenths catalogue Leighton, W. J., New Leighton Catalog of Stars with Proper Motions Larger Than Two Tenths of an Arcsecond NLTT, Univ, of Minnesota, 1979, Supplement 1980 -7 -8 LPM, Leighton Proper Motion Catalog Leighton, W. J., Proper Motion Survey with the 48-inch Schmidt Telescope, University of Minnesota, 1963-1981, 
LP numbers, L in zones minus 45 to minus 89 DEG, LP in zones plus 89 to minus 44 DEG. Around the same time period, Henry Lee Gickloss worked on a similar series of catalogues. Gickloss, H. L., et al., Lowell Proper Motion Survey, Lowell Observatory Bulletin, 1971-1979 UVBY98 The UV Beta Photoelectric Photometric Catalog is a compilation of previously published photometric data. Published in 1998, the catalog includes 63,316 stars surveyed through 1996. Topic: <laughs> Successors to USNOA, USNOB, NOMAD, UCAC and others. Stars evolve and move over time, making catalogs evolving, impermanent databases at even the most rigorous levels of production. The USNO catalogs are the most current and widely used astrometric catalogs available at present, and include USNO products such as USNOB the successor to USNOA, NOMAD, UCAC and others in production are narrowly released. Some users may see specialized catalogs more recent versions of the above, tailored catalogs, interferometrically produced catalogs, dynamic catalogs, and those with updated positions, motions, colors, and improved errors. Catalog data is continually collected at the Naval Observatory Dark Sky Facility, NOFs, and the latest refined, updated catalogs are reduced and produced by NOFs and the USNO. See the USNO catalog and image servers for more information and access. Topic see also Gaia spacecraft list of star catalogs Messier object new general catalog of nebulae and clusters of stars Topic References Topic Bibliography Chadwick, Robert 2005. First Civilizations, Ancient Mesopotamia and Ancient Egypt 2nd ed. Equinox Publishing. ISBN 1-904768-77-6, de Crespigny, R. 2007. A Biographical Dictionary of Later Han to the Three Kingdoms 23-220 CE. Koninklijke Bril. ISBN 90-04-15605-4. Cullen, C. 1980. Joseph Needham on Chinese Astronomy. Past and Present, 87-39-53. doi, 10.1093, Past, 87.1.39. Cullen, C. 1999. Science, Medicine and Technology. In Esposito, J. The Oxford History of Islam, Oxford University Press. pp. 155-213. ISBN 978-0-19510-799-9. Foreman, W. Quirk, S. Hieroglyphs and the Afterlife in Ancient Egypt. University of Oklahoma Press. ISBN 0-8061-2751-1. Hawk, B., Mermilliad, M. UVBY Beta Photoelectric Photometric Catalog. Astronomy and Astrophysics Supplement Series, 129 431-433. Bibcode, 1998A and AS, .129, 431H. Doi 10.1051 AAS 1998195. Horowitz, W. 1998. Mesopotamian Cosmic Geography. Eisenbrowns. ISBN 0-9314649-4. Connors, N. 2007. Star Maps: History, Artistry, and Cartography. Springer Praxis Publishing. ISBN 978-0-387-71668-8. Keppel, G. R., Sanner, G. W. The Night Sky Observer's Guide, 1. Wilman Bell. ISBN 0-943396-58-1. Liverington, D. Babylon to Voyager and Beyond, A History of Planetary Astronomy. Cambridge University Press. ISBN 0 521 80840 5. North, J. The Norton History of Astronomy and Cosmology. W. W. Norton and Company. ISBN 0 393 03656 1. Peng, Y. H. Li, Qi, and Xu An Introduction to Science and Civilization in China. Courier Dover Publications. 
ISBN 0 486 41445 0. Rogers, J. H. 1998. Origins of the Ancient Constellations, 2. The Mediterranean Traditions. Journal of the British Astronomical Association, 108, 2, 79 89. Bibcode, 1998 JBAA, 79 R. Severin, G. M. The Paris Codex, Decoding an Astronomical Ephemeris. Transactions of the American Philosophical Society. 71, 5, 8 12. Sun, X, Kistmaker, J. The Chinese Sky During the Han, Constellating Stars and Society. Koninklijke Bril. ISBN 90-04-10737-1. Further reading Newton, Robert R. The Crime of Claudius Ptolemy. Baltimore, Johns Hopkins University Press. Rollins, Dennis An Investigation of the Ancient Star Catalog. Publications of the Astronomical Society of the Pacific. 94-359-373. Bibcode, 1982PASP, .94, 359R. doi, 10.1086-130991. External links Current public, high metric accuracy star catalogs produced by USNO SAO, Smithsonian Astrophysical Observatory Star Catalog NASA Astronomy Data Center Centre de Denais Astronomiques de Strasbourg Sloan Digital Sky Survey IAUFAQ on naming stars <laughs>